Introducing Lightline's most powerful fixture yet, punching out up to 9,000 lumens, Genesis. Featuring a wet location rating, smooth dimming, and Energy Star approval, this 90 CRI light cannon is perfect for commercial applications such as airports and shopping centers. Today, we will be going over how to install the 6-inch Genesis with the new construction mounting brackets. Before we get started, there are some tools required for this installation. Power drill, screwdriver, hammer, drywall saw, wire connectors, and a BX cable connector. For your safety, this fixture must be wired in accordance with local electrical codes and ordinances. All work should be done by a professional electrician. Check to make sure the power is off from the electrical panel before starting installation or attempting any maintenance. Locate the predetermined position for the fixture to be installed. If hanger bars are too long to fit between the supports, they can be further shortened by sliding them out and cutting the excess. Insert hanger bars into slots of the mounting plate. Extend the hanger bar and level to the lower edge of the joists. Hammer the pre-installed nails into the joists. Alternatively, this is where you would drill through the pre-drilled holes so they can be fastened to the metal studs. They also come with a preformed T-bar attachment configuration for easy installation. Provide electrical service according to your local electrical code for a suitable junction box. Remove the junction box cover and the appropriate knockouts to accommodate the type of electrical service to be used. Insert the electrical supply cable through the knockout in the junction box. Wire the housing using push-in BX connectors. If you're using 0 to 10 volt dimming, connect matching purple and gray wires with twist wire connectors. Apply suitable wiring diagram for fixture. Make certain there are no exposed strands of wire. Place all wiring and connectors back in junction box and return the cover. Snap the driver box into position on the mounting plate. The door of the driver should be visible from the ceiling opening for the fixture. Note, the driver enclosure must be attached to a structure or joist. If using new construction or architectural mounting, secure the driver to the driver mounting clips found on the tray. Connect the hardwire box to the engine by connecting the quick disconnect and securing the disconnect enclosure. Now that the fixture engine is in place, we can install the reflector and optics to complete the installation. Install reflector and optics. Prior to installing the reflector, the heatsink must be lowered. This heatsink has up to 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters of travel to accommodate ceiling thicknesses. The heatsink is fully secured to the top bracket of the new construction housing out of box to prevent any damage during shipment. Align the lower reflector with the keyhole slots. Insert the lower reflector and twist to lock with silver screws. Note, the oval-shaped holes are for the red screws that raise the reflector to be flush with the ceiling. Screw in the silver screws to tighten the lower reflector and red screws to raise the trim until tightened with the ceiling. The upper reflector comes with an installation tool pre-installed to protect the surface from being scratched or damaged during installation. Use this to secure the upper reflector to the engine by twisting and locking it into place. Note, you should avoid touching the inner surface of both reflectors with your fingers to avoid marking the reflective surface. Insert the lens and secure in place by twisting clockwise. Power can now be restored at the electrical panel. The Genesis 6 inch is now fully installed and operational. For more information, please visit lightline.com forward slash Genesis.